So yeah, I'll be exploring these Weber streets <laughs> and uh, Hello and welcome to the underpass. Um, I'm currently sitting in an underpass on some grimy steps and this is going to be my first yeah, my first video. Um, I have chose. Oh, I mean, I stumbled across this place the other day, um, and I kind of fell in love with it. It's not too far from my home. Um, I'm at, uh, obviously, I'm filming in my hometown right now, which I don't do a lot of. Don't do. I don't even do a lot of photography in in this town. I often venture out. To, to London, to Cambridge, to Oxford, um, just anywhere but my hometown. And I think sometimes that's a mistake. I mean, obviously, I love travel and I always enjoy going to different places, but I think sometimes you just need to look at your hometown, <laughs> essentially. Um, and I find it really difficult to to photograph in my hometown. Like I re like I have this mental barrier that I just can't seem to get over. Uh, so I'm trying to push past that today, and I have been trying the past month or so just to kind of explore, um, go into the town centre, go to the parks, just go anywhere that's easily accessible. I mean, it's such a shame that I have this barrier because, I mean everything's on my doorstep and it just it would just be a lot easier than traveling 20 30 minutes to London or 40 minutes to Cambridge or, or just anywhere like two hours to, to anywhere in Europe um, but yeah like to all of you out there who who have this like this creativity uh, block like oh, I just can't shoot in my hometown this is for you guys, this is for, yeah, move, get past it, move past it, anyone in those little, I see a lot of YouTube comments, oh, I live in a, a little town and I, and I, I don't have the, the, maybe the will to get out and shoot in my hometown because there's nothing, it's nothing interesting there, yeah, I completely agree, I don't really find my hometown interesting at all, but when I do go out, you get a little bit of light and you just kind of move past that barrier you start to see things a little bit differently and this is what happened to me I went for a walk the sun was absolutely beautiful around about half four sun was setting I was like yes coming home from work I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this sunlight got ready well, I don't know about 15 minutes don't take long to get ready and I, I ventured out and the sun was hit by some clouds and I was gutted and the sunlight just disappeared and I was wandering around I felt really demotivated and then I stumbled across this little underpass and I thought Do you know what I'm out already let me just see what I can let's see what I can do let's push myself um, like I said, it's not a very big underpass. There's like there's three exits, three entrances, um, some stairs. But sometimes the sunlight creeps in. Uh, you get these cool little shadows. Uh, there's, there's obviously there's little bits of light down here, and there's some spiders and some spider webs. But yeah, you just kind of I just push past it, and I found yeah some. I found oh, oh, oh out of the maybe like 50 photos I took while I was down here two I absolutely loved and I thought Do you know what let me let me return to this scene and yeah let's see what I can do see what we can see what we can get see what we can photograph
Is that in focus? I don't really know. Uh, yeah, about there. All right, uh, that was the that's the video. Um, yeah, photography in an underpass. I wish the underpass was a, a little bit bigger, so there'd be more nooks and crannies to explore. But you know, like I said, there's not. I mean, it's an underpass. What what are we gonna find <clears throat> in a not so busy area and not so busy time? I yeah I found a few opportunities um, I'm glad I shot it in black and white because obviously the vibe of an underpass is is gritty is dirty is you know it's dark and it's dark and dingy under there a troll's lair some would say um, but it's, a, it's an opportunity for growth uh, you know you get out of the house it's underpass it's a five minute walk from my house in my hometown and yeah you do find sometimes in the most ordinary places some really cool some really cool shots um, you might walk away with something that you that you really love I mean I haven't this time but <laughs> it's been an absolute like it's been fun like I have fun I have fun with it and it's uh, an opportunity to learn and to practice the craft of photography um, so yeah I mean to be fair the sun was kind of going in after I got everything set up which is my fault not being faster there's a lesson to be learned there um, but I will be back to this underpass uh, yeah I hope you've kind of enjoyed this maybe if you have give it a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe this is weather streets and i'll see you soon